Tough ride? Nah, came in on the new highway. No problems. Ah, just do it any rates. Smooth city. <laughs> you know, it wasn't such easy riding five years ago when I got here. Ha! <laughs> Try ten years ago. That's when I started riding here. Ten years? <laughs> Fifteen years I've been riding these roads. <laughs> Not that you would call them roads back then. Yeah. Some of the roads I drove down. Nothing but dirt or gravel with farmers and their livestock crossing all over the place. Oh, it's a turtle paradise. When I got here, I was driving on roads of little broken rocks, hairpin bends, and potholes the size of a car. You were lucky to have roads. I used to have to ride my way through bamboo fields <laughs> and rice paddies. And, and that was through the monsoon rains in the dark. <laughs> you know, it's so much easier now, you know? Anyway, I go. <clears throat> you know, these days, like, the good old days were back then. These days, it's all so tourist friendly. Back then, you had none of those, like, Bike and tourist groups that you have now. Tour groups? <laughs> yes. When I did my big tour, it was just me and my tour guide. <laughs> tour guide. Oh, he didn't speak any English, of course. He didn't speak at all. Yeah, completely mute, deaf, and blind. <laughs> so I didn't take a tour, it was just me and a map. From 1970. <laughs> of France. <laughs> and I left it back at the hotel. <laughs> these bikes they have these days, these new bikes, wow. Feels like someone's riding for you. Mm. When I first got here, I had an old Minx. All original parts. Real gas guzzler. I had to stop every other mile for a, at a mechanic for repairs. <clears throat> mechanic? You had a mechanic? I used to have to do my own repairs as I was going. I, I used to fashion, you know, spare parts from whatever bits of scrap metal I could find <laughs> alongside the road. Metal? You're lucky. <laughs> my 67 rusted completely away on my first day. Had to build a new one, completely from bamboo, and rusted parts. <laughs> And this guy is doing the tour this race. No stamina! No stamina. I remember driving down till that for 12 days straight. 12 days luxury! I once drove 16 straight days, only stopping for food and gas. And I took naps while I rode. Yes. <laughs> Who had time for naps? I once rode for 30 days straight, a full month. No food, no drink. As I went past, the petrol guys would throw me cans of petrol. I didn't sleep on a week the whole time. Like you said, man, it was so easy. It's so easy these days. Your bikes, they've got like padded seats and Automatic, uh, automatic transmission and like high-tech suspension. Round wheels. <laughs> <laughs> My old clunker. It, it had no suspension. And I had to sit on a seat made of wood. Seat? <laughs> Luxury. I had to stand on the peg the whole time <laughs> while getting constant electric shocks from the battery. <laughs> I had to straddle the, the exhaust pipe, <laughs> touching the gas tank with my fingernails and steering with my foot. And man, that tailpipe was hot. <laughs> and don't even get me started on safety. No, 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 we won't talk about that. And I said, 
and the safety. <laughs> no helmet for me, just shorts and a flimsy vest. Fist! <laughs> I always used to ride bare chested. I had my pocket knife for repairs stuck in my mouth, and you know, I wore sandpaper for shorts. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I drove completely naked. <laughs> in paper with a lit match in each hand. <laughs> Tell me a scorpion growing in my hair. How many scorpions? Five. Four oh, yeah. <laughs> And by God, you knew when you got crushed. Oh. I remember coming off my bike, doing a tongue easy. It must nearly every bone in my body. I was in a coma for three days. When I woke up, Left the hospital, got a new wife, and carried on still covered in bandages. Bandages! Ah, luxury! I took a spill, going a ton and a half. <coughs> All the skin. <laughs> on my body, came completely off. I stopped. Just long enough to smear salt in all the wounds. <laughs> then I got back on my bike and kept riding, completely skinless. <laughs> of course. I had a bad crash once. All right. I was doing, I was roaring along at 200, right? I smash into this boulder that's on the road, burst into flames, right? And I go like over and over a cliff into shark infested waters. And those, those guys, they eat me up and I die. But I, I was regurgitated and resurrected, got back on the bike. And I didn't even slow down. <laughs> <laughs> to the so good old days. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, excuse me, excuse me. Does any of you guys know about those sweet women out there? They're looking for their husbands. They say it's way past curfew. And they're very, very angry. Uh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>